as a child, I was sent, not taken to the Sunday school. So there's some kind of background there. Um, when I went to school um, and got the 11 plus, I was very pleased about that, but it was my first rebellion against family because I was intended to go to public school, but I went to grammar school. And I've never been so glad about anything because my mother wanted me confirmed and I was, which I suppose re-aroused my interest in the Christian faith. And the school had a Christian union. We made an expedition to Billy Graham at Wembley and I went forward, mainly to walk on the turf, but there was a lot of follow up from that. And especially with my school friends at the Christian Union. And I particularly remember one of them saying to me, you know, what did you think about going forward and what Billy Graham had to say? And uh, said to me then, if you were sitting underneath a light and you thought it was going to fall, what would you do? So I said, move out of the way. He said, yes, you've got to move, do something about it. And those school friends really took a grip of me and looked after me, brought me through into faith. Went on to university, which was my next rebellion because I was supposed to go to finishing school, joined the Christian Union there. But when I went up, my intention was to have the best of both worlds. When I came down, I'd learned that I couldn't. Moved on to postgraduate study, prayed to God for a special person that he would provide for me. There I met Brian and we've been married for 58 years. And something fairly similar when I came back to Canterbury Baptist Church, or oh, just before you came, about five or six years ago, greeted by Margaret Sutton, chatting with her, and she looked at me and she said, you've come home, haven't you? And she was right. I found my home at the Baptist Church. And that's where I hope to stay. <laughs>